Good morning. This is Ron Brown again. I'm recording this on uh, September 25th, 2019, the day after the NASDAQ uh, composite had a, uh, a massive sell-off on relatively heavy volume. You can see what the NASDAQ is doing today. I'm doing this at uh, 9.53 a.m. Central Time. The NASDAQ uh, opened here, traded down to this point, and now it uh, is uh, trying to find support uh, with the lower wick. If you look over here at the left, you can see that the volatility uh, index is up 0.39%. Uh, uh, the dollar index is up, transports, industrials, and so on. Just a quick read on the market. And the composite is currently down minus 19.53. So the market is uh, trying to find some stability here. But I'm not going to talk about uh, the market today. I just wanted to review this. Instead, I'm going to uh, talk about uh, a technique uh, that I've been using in the Insider Club, which I like and I'm going to uh, uh, share with you using uh, my files from the, uh, from the Insider Club. First of all, I'm going to change my screen layout. I'm going to go down here, click on Change Regions. I'm going to load a preset. And this is the one uh, that I generally use for prospecting. I'm going to bring this down here. This one will remain up in this general area. Whoops. This is a weekly chart, daily chart, weekly chart. I need another charting window. And you can see that my monthly chart came up here. This is what I call my fractal layout because it gives me a perspective of a long-term perspective on the monthly, an intermediate-term perspective on the weekly, and a short-term perspective on the daily. And uh, if I'm looking to get into a trade, I also uh, use a 78-minute uh, chart uh, from Thinkorswim, but I'm not going to do that in this video. Instead, I'm going to go to All Securities. I'll hold my alternate key down and hit the space bar. That'll take me to All Securities. And then in my Insider Club files, I'm going to go down. Let me open this up again. I'm going to go down to number the number 9 folder. This is my daily scan. I have daily scans for bullish smart groups, daily scans for bearish smart groups, and I also have uh, HGSI relative strength, except I'm using a minimum of 97 uh, in the uh, filter and for the Kirkpatrick relative screen, which is based upon a 30-week moving average. Uh, I am also using RS97, and I've been tracking these uh, for several months now. But this is my my go-to screen every day. The reason for that is because the filter accesses uh, certain smart groups and uh, gives me a fairly large group to work with. And these smart groups are, are uh, primarily bullish smart groups. So if I bring up the filter, give you a quick look at this. Uh, what happens, uh, these uh, smart groups are accessed uh, Stocks and groups moving to the upside. Stocks and groups moving to the upside, 1 to 15. Best of Woodward and Brown and leaders, raw relative strength. Uh, so any stock which appears in any of these smart groups will pass the filter. And you can see that 253 stocks passed those four smart groups. Now, there's going to be duplicates, of course, but the duplicates are... Uh, are not uh, uh, not in the uh, final file. They're just if there are duplicates, they uh, are ignored. Now, what I've been doing over the past uh, several months is keeping a copy of this group that I create every day. Right here, it says daily bullish end of day scan and select smart groups. Make group because I wanted to build a history. Now, these other ones are for. Below here for intraday analysis, I have the same thing on the bearish side. I make a group of the uh, the bearish smart groups, 
and that I also make a group of the HGSI relative strength smart groups, or it's not a smart group, I'm sorry, of the HGSI group and the Kirkpatrick group. So I've been building a history just to see how this works. The reason you have to build a group if you use this technique is because I'm going to be applying these other views below here intraday. And if you don't make a group, these are going to access all securities. I don't want to access all securities. I only want to access the uh, stocks which passed the smart groups. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to locate the group that I created today. And I keep all of these under a folder I call daily. And you can see there's a bullish group, bearish group, HCSI RS97 and Kirkpatrick 97. I'm going to open this up, scroll down to the bottom. This would be the group from yesterday, the 24th. Uh, this is the 25th, so this is yesterday's group. And I have 253 securities in here. That is the uh, uh, same number that I got when I click, uh, click on this view and apply it to all securities. So I've defined the group. Now I can use these other views which are below. And the first one is the daily bullish scan in select smart groups intraday. So I'm only accessing this group right here. I'm not accessing all securities. This filter is looking for stocks that are currently higher than their opening price. And out of the 253 stocks, I believe there were 253, 108 securities in this group are showing that or are meeting the requirements of the filter. And Hovanian Enterprises is at the top of the list. This is a, a home builder. And uh, Donnelly is number two. Uh, Deva Pharmaceuticals is number three. Jabil, or Jabil, I think it's Jabil, uh, reported earnings yesterday. That is number four. And I can look over here and I can see uh, how these stocks are doing. Uh, Hovanian is up 12.46%, trading at 100% of its daily range. And uh, the percent change, the last price compared to the open, it's up 12.46%. So you can see that uh, on this one, that matches. Uh, it uh, it opened and uh, at that price, and then it uh, is up 12.46% from the low. And volume is running above normal. So if I double click on this, and bring Hovanian up, I can quickly see what has happened. This stock and this group have been in a, well, not all, I shouldn't say this group, but this stock has been in a long-term downtrend on the monthly. And if you notice over here, there was a low volume test last month and a confirmation of that test this month with the yellow triangle. You can see that uh, as it was basing down here on the weekly, there are several solid VPA flags uh, indicating accumulation. Yes, it started a little bit early, but you wait for a positive move to the upside. Hopefully, you're going to get a higher low and a uh, higher high. And here is a higher low. Here's a higher high. And here is the daily chart. And you can see what is happening today. I'm going to zoom out on this a little bit. And uh, here is that area that was showing accumulation. We have a rounded bottom, a pullback here. So here is a uh, higher low. And this would be a higher high. And it took off from there, formed a flag here. And it's, it's going again with this fractal view. And by fractal, for those of you who may not know, it means that each chart is built from the chart with the shorter time frame. So the daily chart builds the weekly chart, and the weekly chart builds the monthly chart. All charts are fractal. You may be thinking to yourself, well, that's all well and good, but uh, it's a little bit uh, late. It's gone from... Uh, the $5 area up to $19. Well, that's why I've been building a history to see how this works out. So what I'm going
going to do is I'm going to go to the designer and I'll just uh, use a designer link down here and I'll type in the symbol and uh, that symbol is HOV whoops and I'm going to click on this folder over here to the right what the what this does is it goes into the database uh, that I have been uh, creating and it tells me how many times Hovanian Enterprises has appeared and when it appeared in uh, the groups uh, that I've been creating. So you can see that it first started appearing back on 820. Let me move this out of the way and I'm going to uh, put a crosshair in here. Here's 820 right there. So the first appearance uh, was here after an effort to rise. This would be 819. First appearance uh, was 820 and then again on 822, uh, 906. So there were several days here it went up and then it started appearing again. Let's see where's 906. Right here that's 905. So it started making a big move here. Uh, with an effort to rise on very heavy volume, which means the demand was overpowering supply, and then it uh, it appeared again. But the first appearance was clear back here at 8:22. So had anyone noticed this and bought it here, there was a pullback. You always expect a pullback, but this is a higher low, and this is a low volume test, and from that point it just started going up. Now let's look over here. You can see that uh, back in June it was appearing in the uh, daily smart group scan bearish. And uh, that ended on July 24th on the uh, HCSI relative strength 97 or above. It started appearing on the 18th and on Kirkpatrick uh, it appeared on the 9th of September. So where was the 9th? We've already looked at that, but this is where it started appearing in the Kirkpatrick uh, relative strength. Or I should say through the Kirkpatrick relative strength filter. Now if I scroll up to the top there, you can see that it appeared in a lot of the Woodward and Brown groups and so on. But I want to concentrate just on these daily appearances, the ones that I'm, uh, I'm uh, keeping or I'm building a database just to see how this works. Now I'm going to click on the blue folder or the folder with the blue surrounding it. Get rid of Hovanian. Uh, let's uh, take a look at this Dova Pharmaceuticals. Th this, uh, let's take a, I need to look at the longer term here. You can see that on the monthly chart it started appearing back here around the $8 level and it's moved up uh, very quickly to the $20 area. Downtrend, basing, big move up here. When you see these big volume spikes, uh, that generally means that the uh, smart money is moving into a stock and then it uh, moved up at uh, base sideways for quite a while. And then this last week, it, uh, it took off again. Now, this is why it's so important to look at uh, multiple time periods. If you just look at this daily chart, uh, you're going to think it's, it's a mess. But uh, if you look at the weekly and the monthly, you can see that this momentum has been building. Now, I have not looked at the uh, designer on this. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'll type in the search window. The uh, symbol is DOV. A, D O V A. Click on the folder. And daily smart groups bullish. Back in June it was appearing. And then in July, I'm looking for the more recent ones. So in September on the 6th, it appeared in the daily scan bullish. In other words, it appeared in some of those smart groups. I don't know which one, 
But uh, let's go back and look at it on the 6th. So this would be the 6th. It started appearing when it was basing here around $15.25 before this move up, this pull back, and then uh, the last three days. And then it appeared on the 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 17th, 18th, 19th, and 23rd. So it appeared multiple times. If anyone was in this stock, I'm going to clear this. Just looking at the daily chart, more than likely, you would have been uh, shaken out here on this. If you're looking at the weekly chart, you can see it's much more stable, as is the monthly chart. So once again, that's the advantage of looking at multiple charts. And on these shakeouts, look down here at the volume. Low volume on this one. And on this one, a little bit heavier volume. Uh, but uh, not extreme, and then it uh, took off at this point, and you can see the buyers uh, coming into the stock. Now, I don't want to dwell on this too much. Um, I could give you several examples. Instead, I want to uh, show you uh, some of the other views on here. But So I go to 1A first, and then if I want to see which of these stocks are in certain smart groups, this looks at all smart groups. This looks at stocks and groups moving up smart groups. So uh, Jabel, which uh, reported, is doing uh, very well today, as you can see. I haven't updated it uh, recently, but it was trading near the top of its range at 92.63% uh, when I stopped the updating. Get the crosshair off of there. Floor, floor and decor was up 2.07%, trading at 92.59% of its daily range, and so on. So these are stocks that showed up in the stocks and groups moving up smart group. And this is the 1 to 15 group. Leaders, these were stocks that, or these are stocks that were in my raw relative strength group which shows stocks uh, that uh, are high relative strength stocks. And you can see that Hovanian, Dova, here's a uh, gold stock, Sonic Automotive, and so on. These are all high relative strength stocks. Here's best of Woodward and Brown. These are st the best of Woodward and Brown stocks, for those of you who may not know, are the top 10 stocks which appear in the smart groups. So all of the smart groups are what happens. These top 10 stocks are called from all of the smart groups. So if you print out a group inclusion report of all the smart groups, the top 10 stocks are grabbed. Now, a lot of these are extended at that point, but also a lot of them keep going. I uh, looked at Insolent the other day uh, on uh, a report for the, uh, or during a webinar for the Insider Club, and that was uh, that was on Thursday, which is right here, and this one was showing up, and look how this stock has moved up since then. So just, even though it, uh, some of these stocks may be overbought, you could also find some very good candidates in Best of Woodward and Brown. Let's go down to the next one. These are bullish VPA flags uh, yesterday. I'll bring up uh, Jabel. You can see that this is a uh, candle formation that uh, indicates that sellers took off, took uh, profits, I should say. But I consider it uh, a neutral candle because you never know which way these stocks are going to go. This sold off yesterday because the market was so weak. And look what happened today. It just took off again. Let's take a look at the next one, see what the candle was. And this was a low volume test, and it is moving up today. Okay, moving on to the next. These are lower risk entry. What do I mean by that? It means that uh, these VPA flags that I'm using, uh, they usually appear after a pullback. Let's look at the next one. And I just consider these lower risk entries. 
They don't always work out, as you can see. It looks like gold's out of favor today. But uh, often you can find stocks that have rallied and then pulled back, and I'm looking for lower risk entry. And then the final one is the top 50. These are the top 50 stocks uh, that are generated by HGSI. And this one you have to do, you have to update this one every day. You just go in to the group member. Under the custom groups, you go to the most recent group and you select that. And then this would be the top 50 group inclusion report. You can see there's more down than up today. But a lot of these are um, gold stocks, silver stocks, and so on, uh, which are not doing well today. But there, there's Jabel. That was in the top 50. Floor and Decor is in there. Insulates in there. So a lot you can always find uh, decent candidates in this group. Now I'm going to end this video now. I could go through the bearish scenario, the relative strength, and so on. But I'm trying to keep these videos from getting too long. If you're really interested, uh, if you're not a member of the Insider Club, you're, uh, you can certainly join through the HCSI website if you're an HCSI user. If you're not, you should be because uh, uh, this is a powerful combination using HCSI and Thinkorswim. Thanks for listening.